Hello everyone, this is Shannon from Not So Poe, and today I'm doing week 45 of my 2023 reads. This week I read a really excellent uh, mystery book. I read a classic that I've been working on for a while, it was okay, and I DNF'd a book. Timestamps and content warnings are in the description box below. First, the mystery book that I finished was The Last Devil to Die by Richard Osman, which is the fourth book in the Thursday Murder Club series. I love this series so much, and I actually just filmed a review of the series, so I will uh, have that up later this week. It is such a fun murder mystery series um, that has both thriller aspects and cozy mystery aspects. So much fun. Uh, and this book, my husband Sush read earlier than I did, and he wanted to read it out loud to me because he loved it so, so much. And he did, and it was just the best reading experience. I This is definitely the strongest book in the series so far. It is both um, really fun and really funny and has great mystery, but also the characters have quite a lot that they're going through and there's just some heart-wrenching scenes. It made me bawl my eyes out and also laugh so much. It was just all of the emotions and such good plot. So if you are unfamiliar with this series, it's basically set in a small British retirement village and we follow four friends who are, you know, in their 70s and they have a murder club uh, where they investigate murders that happen and uh, as they get caught up in those, lots of other things tend to happen as well. Um, the characters in this are just so fantastic. And in this fourth book, basically one of their friends gets caught up in um, some drug deals unintentionally and ends up getting murdered. And so the friends are trying to discover who murdered their friend and you know get some justice for that uh so it's got a lot of really great characters i love the side characters that have been developed over the past few books um including some of the the criminals that they uh encounter and just there's just so many great characters in this series and yeah so this book was so excellent really really great if you haven't picked up the series Highly recommend it. I gave this book five out of five stars and the series review for this will be coming up later uh, this week. Next, I finished Something New by P.G. Wodehouse, which also is a book that Sush has been reading to me. Um, so Sush has been reading me all of Wodehouse's works as bedtime stories for many years now. And this one we have been working on since March, which is a very long time to be reading one of these. And I do fall asleep really easily, so we move very slowly through any of the books, but this one's been going on for a very long time. And part of that is because I found it so dull that I kept falling asleep so quickly. It would be two sentences and I was out, um, which is very effective in terms of bedtime story, but less effective in terms of actual storytelling. Um, this one basically follows, it's got a little bit of a twisty turny plot, but we basically follow two people, um, a guy and a girl who end up pretending to be servants uh, to some rich like lords and ladies in order to try to recover a missing artifact that was perhaps stolen by one of these lords and ladies from a different person uh, and they're trying to get that back so that they can get the reward for it and maybe also falling in love at the same time. Um, there's lots of antics in here, lots of side characters that are a little bit ridiculous, uh, which I do think is a lot of fun. Wodehouse has great humor and so a lot of those things were great, um, but sometimes some of the scenes were just a little bit tedious for me and I really, I did not like the romance aspects of, of this. I, in general, I'm not a huge fan of Wodehouse's romance. Uh, I don't think that he has great, especially male characters. And then sometimes he takes a great female character and kind of like hamstrings her in order for her to like the, the hero, which is just not my favorite thing. Um, but it is over the top, it has a lot of humor, but because I found it kind of, oh, dull to get through and I wasn't really a fan of the characters. This one was one of my lesser favorite uh, of Wodehouse's work, so I gave it two and a half out of five stars. And lastly, I did DNF a book, which was A Taste of Magic by JL. If you saw my recent revisiting of anticipated releases from Q3, um, this was on that list as something that was in progress and I wasn't sure if I was gonna finish it, and I did not. Uh, but I did try to get a little bit farther in it. I ended up getting to 46%, so I feel like I gave it a real shot. Um, but I just wasn't into this book. It is a middle grade contemporary fantasy about a young girl who 
ends up discovering that she has magic abilities and then she ends up discovering that there's a lot of magic in her community and she has to start going to magic school on Saturdays at the local um, hair salon and there's a lot of really great aspects about this. I think the magic in this was really creative and fun. There's a lot about community, about supporting your community. There's issues kind of tackling gentrification and racism and all sorts of stuff. So there's like a lot of good stuff going on in this book, but I was just not into it. I, I think that I really struggled with the characters, especially the main character. I just never really got behind her. Um, she also, I think this is part of probably her story arc. Um, so I'm sure that it uh, changed throughout the second half of the book, but she was not a very nice person, not a very good person in that, you know, she's not a very good friend. She keeps letting her friend down. Um, she's kind of mean to some other people. She's a little vindictive. She's very unreliable, those sorts of things. So I was really struggling with her as a main character. And I think that the um, kind of the writing itself just wasn't drawing me in. So uh, even though I think that when we were doing the magic parts that got kind of interesting, all of the stuff about the daily school life and the friend interactions wasn't really working for me. There was a little bit more drama than I like, that sort of thing. So this one was just not for me, even though I thought the premise sounded so good. But I guess that happens sometimes that a book just doesn't quite click with you. Uh, I think that if you do like the sound of it though, maybe give it a try and see if the writing clicks with you because if it does, then I think there's a lot to offer in this one. Okay, that is everything that I read and DNF this week. If you guys have read any of these, if you're interested in them, if you wanna chat with me, share what you've been reading this week, if you have any books that were a little bit disappointing for you this week as well, anything like that, just leave me a comment down below.